Okay, in essence, this is what a club's doing to you. So once it gets past here, this club's trying to pull you this way. Push on the balls of your feet to keep yourself from falling down. Yeah. I'm gonna go back this way. Don't let me pull you off. Push on the balls of your feet. Push away from the club. Okay, here we go again. You feel how you have to push away for it not to pull you that way? Right. When you swing a club and this club comes down, once it gets right there, if your body's going the same direction the club's going, you're getting sucked right into the vortex. You're not creating any resistance so the club doesn't take off by itself. So your body has to actually feel like it's pushing away. Bubba Watson, Lexi, all those, those people, they say they jump up in the air. You see them come off their toes. They're not jumping up. It's called force vectors. When they start the club down, it's coming down on an angle, right? As soon as it gets right there, to create all that speed, they, whoo, they jump away from the ball on a parallel plane to the, what the club's doing. That's what keeps them balanced, and that's what makes the club go whoo, and accelerate. It's like snapping a towel. When it comes to generating speed, you have to turn the club head into a whip. So how do you create that snapping action with the club head to make it go fast? Here we are in the locker room. Well, everybody knows how to make a towel snap. So when I make this towel snap against that wall, what makes that snap? Well, if I went here and I tried to make my hand and the towel go at the same speed, I could hit the wall, but no matter how hard I make my arm go, there's not much speed there. So I have to go with the towel and then I have to pull back. So that pulling back is what makes the towel accelerate. Every sport you've ever played, if you're any good, ball's coming at you, you don't push into the ball. You push away from the ball and the bat whoo, goes out to the ball. And then I got to this stupid game and they got me here trying to scissor my knees and make my right hip go this way and my knee go out at the ball. Plus hold the angle. Plus drive the handle at the ball. I'm familiar with some of those concepts. That's what I've been thinking. People think that the most important thing in this swing, they try to make their club head go down the target line. That's not what a swing is. A swing is a circle, it is not a straight line. So a swing is a circle. The club comes from back in here, around, runs into the ball, and goes around to the left. So there's only a very, very small part of the swing where the club face and the target line match out. If you try to make the club head stay on and go down the target line, you're never going to be any good. This is the picture of a swing. So if I put this club back right here, it won't hurt you. I want you to swing. You've got to hit the ball and not hit the club with your hands. Hand swing around to the left, not down the target line. You want me to make a full swing? Well, yeah, just hit it 50 yards or 100 yards. It's easy. Okay, so when you do that, your body doesn't move up into the ball, because if it did, you couldn't get your hands in there. Make sense? Yeah. So when I'm establishing my upper body posture, I set a club on my back, look straight ahead. Whatever this relationship is, I'm going to bend from my hips and then put a slight flex in my knees. Now from here, if you come off my shoulders to the tips of my toes and out, that's a 90 degree angle. That becomes very stable. If I tilt backwards or I tilt way out here too far, now I don't have a 90 degree angle. So that 90 degree angle becomes important. important. So you keep wanting to go out here with it. Your hips want to they stay back. There you go. Feel that? There you go. So Mike, is that, is that because I don't get my weight to my left side? No, 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 no. I don't think it. Forget it. Forget weight shift. All right. All right. Has nothing to do with weight shift. Okay, now, because you're doing that, you do not want the club to swing out this way. Just gotta go 
this. No, no. Your hands come in here, and the club comes right there, and it runs yeah. into the ball, and then your hands and arms go around over here. Okay, what about that stuff about down the target line? That's, no, no, nobody. That's enough, okay. So now, for me to hit this ball down that target line, my club swings back, and my club head comes on a circle that's on an inclined plane, so it's tilted like this. But the club head is coming right over the top of that line. It runs into the ball, and then the club head goes around to the left. It does not come in, hit the ball, and chase the ball down the target line. Their club head runs, it's coming in on an, on an inclined plane. It runs into the ball, and it immediately starts right up the plane over here. Nobody's club hits a ball and chases it. It doesn't do that in any sport. When you throw a ball, when you let go of it, your hand goes around. When you hit a tennis ball, when you hit it, the racket goes around. You hit a baseball, when you hit the ball, the bat goes around to the left. Okay, bring the club head to me. It's nice and slow. That's where it's gotta go. Do it again. Bring the club head right here in my hand. Now look at the ball and look where that club is. This is where it's gotta go, not out here. This is where you go. It's got to come over here. I've never tried to make it go over here before. Well, it's obvious. Which Honestly, is, I've never well, well, I know, but that's why you struggle. Down the line, hit from the inside. Really.